All right, in this sketch, we're going to talk about how to disciple an immature Christian. Now, this is something that is probably going to come up as you're using the tools. You're going to be discipling, you know, new believers or believers that really don't act like believers. That's what I mean by an immature Christian. So you're investing in them. We're talking about you're already using those tools and you're investing in them. So you're somewhere here in this region, right? You've already started either they're a believer, barely, or they're a brand new believer, uh, or they're not even quite a Christian yet, even though they call themselves a Christian. And so they're somewhere in between, you know, trusting Jesus for salvation and really living to honor God, but they're clearly not honoring God yet in their life. So I have three tips for you. Number one, keep it structured. Structure is important for this kind of a person. They probably don't have very good spiritual habits yet. So get them, you know, covering topics, maybe encourage them to do some Bible reading plans from the site, bring structure into their life. The second thing is to pray over each topic. And what I mean is, before you meet with that person, pray. Pray for your words. Pray for their receptivity. Pray over the topics that you're picking. Pray that the Holy Spirit would open their eyes to the truth, because they're going to have to uh, really have this epiphany in order to move forward in their pursuit of God. And the last thing I would say is just do your part. Remember, you can't convict someone of sin. You can't make someone start living to honor God. The best thing you can do is show up every week, encourage them, challenge them, hold them accountable, pray for them, pray for the topics, pray for your role, and just do your part. Remember, they have a part to play and God has a part to play. But I want to show you how Matthew chapter 10 relates to this. This is where Jesus is sending out his disciples to go make disciples. And it I think it really relates to what we're talking about in this topic. So Jesus said this, he said, If anyone in a household or a town refuses to welcome you or listen to your message, shake its dust from your feet as you leave. And this is something that I think you need to really pray about this passage is, at some point, the person that you're helping, at some point, if, if they don't really receive what you're helping them with, you might have to make the hard decision that really you're not going to continue to invest in them if they're not going to you know, come to God and truly you know, trust in Jesus and honor him with their lives. Jesus goes on to say, God will give you the right words at the right time, for it's not you who will be speaking, it will be the spirit of your father speaking through you. So remember that. Uh, doing your part, God will give you the words, trust that God will give you the words, and then pray that the Holy Spirit will do the work that only the Holy Spirit can do in that person. And then a little bit further down, Jesus says this, anyone who receives you receives me, and anyone who receives me receives the Father who sent me. So remember, you're not doing this for you, you're not doing this for some you know accolade that you can get, you're doing this because Jesus told us to go make disciples. So really evaluate that person that you're trying to help. And maybe go back and read Matthew chapter 10, because it's fitting advice, right? Jesus is speaking this to people who have gone out. But when you think about discipling an immature Christian, really go into it armed with the right information, the right knowledge. Keep investing in that person until you feel like maybe, you know, it's time to move on to the next person.